what's up y'all it's your girl exhale sims welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell like the video all of that because we about to have a good time okay we are on what is this like episode nine of the 100 baby challenge but different with our girl chloe you see her glowing per usual pregnant per always and her four boys okay um if you have not seen the previous episodes run it back run it back run it back because stuff has been going down um but yeah episode nine i'm excited um if you saw the last episode which you should have you already know what we gotta do y'all you already know what we gotta do and i checked the comments and all of that before i hopped on so we gotta make this move um right now it's 5 30 a.m so i think what is it i think a lot of that stuff with the realtor i think they don't start working till what six yeah six a.m so we got a couple minutes to kill um we're gonna check on these babies um is anyone there we're just gonna kind of check on these babies right quick waste a little time i think we might call aziz over you know how we do Oh, we can practice standing. Um, call Aziz over, little stuff like that. Um, so he can watch the kids while we kind of go do the last couple things that we need to do. Um, I'm excited though, y'all. I'm excited. Um, we only have two cribs in the room. I did not buy two more because I'm like just trying to wait it out, you know. Because hopefully we will literally be up out of here like in a couple hours. But I'm really excited. I know Chloe's excited. We are so proud of our girl. She is really doing the dang thing. Um, and I couldn't be more excited. That was fast. That's all she's going to do with him. We should do it with Forrest too. Practice standing. I just love them. They're so cute. And then we got Remy and Elias over here laying down. And then she is pregnant by her new boo, Daryl. Okay. Um, we definitely going to have to get him to help us move. If him and Aziz ain't, you know, too mad at each other, like, he, we might be able to get both of them to help us move. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Um, put Kai down, even though he's loving your little attention, little sweet butt. Lord, the game glitching. She going to put him right on top of his brother. Y'all play together, okay? Um, she needs to tend to forest. Oh, it's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to invite Aziz over first because... Okay, there's Aziz. Is it? Wait, it's damn. It's probably too early to invite him over. Let's try it anyway. Because I was going to say, he can chill with the kids. I would ask Daryl, but, you know, he's still getting to know our kids. So, even though we're pregnant by him, like, I ain't going to do my boy like that just yet. Let's see. Unless she gonna, see, I hate when the game does that. She's going to put him right on top of his brother. That's sleep. Like, seriously. Is Aziz up? It's raining too. I'm not trying to move in the rain. Hopefully it's not raining in wherever we pick the house. I'm not even going to say it yet. Y'all just going to see when we go to the buy process to see who won. Okay, Aziz will be right over. Perfect. Um, so I'm not even going to say which house won in the comments. Um, but y'all will see in a little bit. Once he gets here, we will call the realtor and take the next steps to buy this crib. Hopefully we have enough money for everything. Oh, also, real quick, you guys, I'm putting in this screenshot because when I ended the last episode, she received another payment. As you can see, she got 27 bands. Okay, child support. Um, bring your butt in here, Aziz. Thank you. All right. So, Aziz is here, you guys. So, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let's go. Check house listings. I think we got to continue to pull up. Okay, negotiation battle. Negotiation battle. Let's go. Period. All right, so as you guys know, everything was between Suburban Empty and Newcrest and four bed, three bath in Tomarang. So without further ado, the house that won the vote was the four bedroom, three bath in Tomarang. So let's hit this negotiation battle real quick. It says you and your realtor will need to visit the house to start the negotiation battle. This will define the final proposed value of the property and the outcome may vary in a lot of different ways. So make sure Chloe Brooks is ready for the task. Would you like to start the negotiation battle? And would... You know, she probably need to change her outfit, but it's okay. Okay, y'all, we are freaking here. OMG, OMG, OMG. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I forgot to add. Um, wait, who the hell is that girl? She must be a part of it. So, okay. They're letting us in. Let's refresh our memory. This is such a cute house. Four bedrooms in this little kind of room right here that we can do whatever we need to do with. Um, I wonder if I need to ask him anything or do we just dive right in um it doesn't say anything this must be the seller okay yeah seller 
Uh, let's click on her. I think we have to click on her. Damn, I gotta introduce myself first. Okay, let's do a friendly introduction. Or do I need to do it to the realtor? I don't know. Okay, well, we're introducing ourselves to the seller. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm nervous. And she better see, like, look, this girl real pregnant. Like, she about to pop. Like, don't play with me. Like, give me a good deal on this house because obviously I need it more than damn you do. Okay, start negotiation battle, y'all. Let's do it, let's do it, let's go, let's go, let's go. My realtor over there looking crazy. Okay, you are about to start a negotiation battle. This will be your last chance to back out until the negotiation is over, so make sure you're ready. Would you like to negotiate on the furnished or unfurnished appraised value? Furnished? Because there's only so many furnishings in here, and we got enough money for this. Let's go. All right, negotiation battle. Blah, blah, blah. Negotiation battles are a clash of wits where two parties try to consent on the value of a property. Okay, I'm not going to read all this, y'all, but let's do, let's see. Negotiation lasts for a total of three rounds. Where you can make offers, final offer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, a good realtor will give you valuable insight. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so the appraised value is 46K. So let's, let's you know, we're going to aim low. Well, no, let's ask for the realtor's advice. My bad. Let's do that. I believe we should give them the chance to place the first offer. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. So let's skip first offer. We give you the honors of starting the negotiation, Mr. Hassan. Talk to us nice, Mr. Hassan. That's what he should have said. That's what he meant to have said, y'all. My client's first offer is fifty thousand four hundred, bruh. The appraised value is only like forty six k. They see they trying to come for my girl. Okay, round two, round two. Okay, they want fifty. We're not doing that. Let well, let's ask for our realtor's advice. Is a reasonable offer. We might be able to get away with a counter offer as low as 41. How are you saying 50 is reasonable, but we going to offer? You know what? Let's do it. I don't care. Let's say 42. Uh, place offer. We'd like to make an alternative offer, Mr. Hassan. What are your views on 42,000? Because that's way more than enough. And I need this house. You see, I'm pregnant. 45. All right. All right. All right. That's still lower than the asking value. Um, I might just roll with that. Do you think I should just accept that, y'all? Because that's not bad. That's really not bad. I mean, she got money, even though we're going to need more money. Let's see what the realtor says. Increase our offer to somewhere around 44600 Okay, so you want to make it a little bit lower than what they offered. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Place offer. From where we stand, a better solution would be 44600 How do you, our objectives compare to yours, Mr. Hassan? My client can agree to that. Sign here, please. Okay, and period. Talk to me nice. Give me my house. I'm ready to move in today. Today. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. All right, negotiation in the agreement made, 44600 And look, she happy as she should be. Okay, congratulations. That was a good deal, Miss Brooks. Let's go home. All right. Let's go home and handle business. Her. Okay, we are home. Oh, Aziz is still here. Okay, cool. Let's go in here with the kids. What the hell you been doing with the kids, Aziz? I'm gonna let her attend to the kids right quick. You now need to go back to check house listings on the real estate tab of your phone and select closing process. Oh, good for you, Rim Rim. Um, but yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Why are you calling me? I can't take a job. I got too many damn kids and I'm pregnant. How about that? All right. Let's see, y'all. I hope we have enough money to cover everything. Okay, check house listings. I can't remember how much our realtor is um, charging. Closing process, y'all, on this house. Okay, we got to pay earnest money, which is 1700 I, I, I. Oof, y'all. Okay. Oh, I think we might have it. Y'all, I'm about to cry. Okay. 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 Pay cost of home. Oh, my gosh. Pay realtor commission, which is only $936, which I love. We love that. And then pay additional closing fees, y'all. And we're going to have some money left over. Shout out to the baby daddies for running the bank account up. Okay. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What do I do now? Oh, my gosh. Select Sims who will split. No, no, no. Everybody come in. Everybody come in. Okay, submit. You are now the proud owner of the... Da -da -da -da. Check out the manage properties option. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Would you like to set as your main home? Yes, we would. Hey, well, I wasn't ready for us to leave yet. Crazy. Damn, like I'm excited, but I won't ready. I'm trying to figure out, y'all, since we have some money, um, 
are we going to because what i'm thinking we got two options i think we might be able to rent out our previous apartment or we can just completely sell it i don't know what necessarily comes along with us having to rent it out oh my gosh y'all we are here who the hell she got in the back carry because i don't see no damn body oh she carrying them okay 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 before we get into all that, y'all, let me... They got the babies in the damn street. Let me... Uh, let's just see what... Let's just see what it says. Because we need some of our stuff from our crib. I don't have to buy everything. But if we're selling it... You know? Set as main home. Visit residence. Move out. Um, but it's saying move out. Oh, it's a rental property. So it's not like we can keep it okay so what we should do is visit the residence one more time and we need to see what we're gonna keep because yeah we got 22 bands but like that's probably not enough to buy everything we gonna need so let's visit the residence real quick and let's bring daryl and aziz with us because they need to help us move as baby daddy should and um period and well let's bring the damn kids because obviously you know all right, we are here. I don't know where the hell the other two kids is at. Are they just not Aziz is carrying? Oh, he's are he just carrying his kids? Oh no, he carrying the ones that ain't hit. Aziz, you're the real flipping MVP. All right, so let's put some stuff in our inventory that we want to take with us. Whoa, because we are gonna move out. All right, I'm gonna go to build mode because yeah, a lot of this stuff is coming with us because I don't want to have to pay too 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 much, especially stuff like this, like placing inventory. Period. For now, we can keep this couch. We can keep this rug. I mean, we can really keep like 90% of this stuff, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Um, keep this, Lord. Keep all of that. If we want to sell anything, we can. But, you know, let's keep these cribs. We can leave a bassinet. So let's keep this diaper genie. Let's keep the bed. <laughs> yes! Okay, they're gonna have to refurnish this crib because we bought all this shit. Alright, let's go. And let's keep this chair. I want, like, everything. I want the stuff off the wall. I mean, we don't really have to get this stuff. Like, is she maturing? Does she still want her wall to say bad bitch? Like, I don't know. Can we keep, like, the shower? Y'all, if we can keep the shower? We do gotta buy a tub, though, for sure. Um, let's just keep all of this shit. We gotta redecorate our current, like, our new crib. I'm sorry. We don't need any of the stuff in the kitchen, really. Um. I think we should keep the posters and stuff. We might need this trash can, though. And I guess we could technically take this table. We don't need, like, the kit, like the refrigerator or anything. Do we need this stuff? We don't need that stuff. We just don't leave that behind for them to clean up. You think we should take some of the art? Or should we just sell it? Oh, it's not worth anything. Let's just place it in our inventory. We got our baby daddies putting in work. Okay, we love it here. Let's get all of this stuff in our inventory. And, oh my gosh, I'm tripping. We was about to leave our baby daddy pictures. And we gotta take a picture with Daryl. We was really about to leave these here. I'm bugging. I am completely tripping, y'all. Okay. Does she need her little neon lights? She might as well. She might not put them in the living room, but she might put them in her room. Because that was, like, decoration she had before she even had kids. Let's take all of this stuff. Her first pregnancy pictures. We need to have a, just, like, a family shoot with all the kids one day. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's get all of that. Should we take the art from the room? We might as well. She might want to put that up in her room. Let's get all of these paintings and stuff. And I guess we can bring this mobile, mobile, whatever it's called. And then let's get this painting. And then, oh my gosh, y'all, I can't believe we're moving. I am so excited. I am so proud of freaking Chloe. She about to be a whole home, well, no, not about to be. She is a whole entire homeowner, like. So if you wasn't talking to her nice before, like. Oh my god, I was about to leave these handprints and stuff from the babies. Oh my gosh. I am bugging. We need all of that. She's taking everything she can, ain't it? Alright. And then we'll just get these last couple of posters in case she wants to hang those up. Not Aziz. Y'all. We are forever gonna love Aziz. I say that every episode because every episode he is really doing his big one. Like, look at him. Look at him. Should we take these lights? Let's take these lights too. I ain't gonna lie. Let's take these damn lights. Oh wait, we ain't gonna take the dough. I'm not gonna do them like that. We got doors, but let's take some extra lights. Because she need good lighting. Alright, is that everything? Are we taking this little table? Should we? I mean, we could. Yeah, just, we might as well, just in case, just in case. So we ain't gotta upgrade just yet. Whoever moving here better have some stuff stocked up, honey. Alright, that should be good, right? Yeah, that should be good, that should be good. 
All right, so we got everything we need. So let's travel. Got our baby daddy. He's really holding it down. So let's travel with them and the kids to our new home in Tomarang. New home in Tomarang. New crib in Tomarang. I got a new crib in Tomarang. If she stopped worrying about other stuff, girl, let's go. You can tend for us later. Please, perhaps. All right, all right, all right. We are back. Before we move forward, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, let's see. Manage properties, the apartment. We're just going to click move out. I was hoping we could sell it, but it's like not our apartment to own. <laughs> so I was like, bitch, you don't own it. She was renting this. Stop acting stupid. And then we owe 1200 for the breach of the lease agreement. So that's cool. You have successfully moved out. The rental property is no longer in your managed properties list, and you don't have to pay rent anymore. If this is a customer property that you set up yourself, consider switching over to the landlord household so they can properly receive the payment. Oh, no. We good. We good. We good. All right, y'all. Let's just take a moment. Let's just take a mother freaking moment. You guys. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I do want to check one thing. Is she in her third yet? Okay. She's in her third. So I don't know how exciting this episode is going to be besides the fact that we just bought a freaking house. But I think we need to get a couple things just set up right quick because she, obviously we don't know if she can have birth at any moment. But let us just appreciate this. Chloe bought a freaking house. It's right on the freaking beach. Like, oh my gosh i'm excited this is beautiful we can explore tomerang like she can really live her best life out here um and yes her baby daddies are holding it down like aziz is the realest one hopefully daryl will be just as real but yeah real quick let's just um go into bill mode let's get rid of this for sale sign because it is not for freaking sell okay we own this bitch and Let's see, real quick, let's just pull out some of the stuff that we freaking, um, that we brought with us. Let's just place our bed. And we can, like, I might tweak some stuff, like, off-camera type thing, y'all. Um, but for right now, yeah, let's just get this stuff kind of, like, out there. And let's just work with what we got. She still does not have a freaking TV. Um... We could really delete this whole wall and have like an extra little corner space, which I don't think would be a terrible idea because, you know, she got kids. I don't really think we need this wall. And I was also thinking about eventually probably erasing. Oh, this isn't considered. This thing even got a regular door. Um, and neither does the bathroom, which is kind of really freaking weird. Why don't these rooms have regular doors? These are doorways. Um... Yeah, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. But what I was thinking is we can get rid of some of this closet space as well, which makes the rooms a little bit bigger for, like, the kids. Um, so, matter of fact, let's just do some of these slight little changes um, just to make these rooms more spacious because we've got to have too many kids. And we need to make this house really last. I don't know what we're going to use this little closet for, but for now, I will leave it. Does she have a closet in her room? Her closet. Is it in the bathroom? Oh, she has, like, a closet in her bathroom. Like, y'all, we don't need all of that. It's fine. We'll mess with that later. So, we got her bed put out. Do y'all think I should remove this? I mean, the fireplace is nice, but, like, if we remove that wall, it just makes the living room a little bit more spacious. And being that we're going to have 100 babies, like, there's no such thing as too much space in our living room. Like, let's be freaking for real. Because otherwise, I mean, are we going to place this? Like, the little stuff that we had? I don't know where we had everything. Um, honestly. And she needs space to put this out. She could really put it in her room and take up space in her room so that she's not taking up, like, hold on, more space everywhere else. Oops. Alright. Wait, not out the damn window. Hold up. I want to go right there. It's not. Well, I have you move off this one, so it shouldn't freaking matter. I don't really want to have to put this out here. Is it because of these outlets? Let's see. Because I don't need all that, to be real. Like, it's not really... No, is it the windows? She needs to be able to put that shit somewhere. I don't necessarily want to have to have it in the living room. Because eventually, you know, the kids are going to be running around in there. I guess for now, she can just stick it in the garage. She doesn't have anything really to go in the garage. I just want to know why it's acting stupid. It won't go up against the wall. Did it? No, it's not. Like, why is it being like it can't go up against the freaking wall? Isn't that crazy? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Um, 
yeah, let's put this in here. This can, for now, just be, like, her little workspace. Um, let's see. Where is her? Where is her? Y'all, don't tell me I'm tripping. Did I not bring her easel? I feel like I forgot to bring her easel, you guys. Oh, no, it's right here. Why wouldn't it let me put... Y'all, I'm bugging. Why wouldn't it let me put anything? See, it is these outlets. Is there an outlet over here? I don't need all these damn outlets. I love the realism, but, like, I don't need that. All right, cool. We got that. And so then another decision we need to make right quick is which room is going to be the boys' room, y'all. This has a bathroom connector already in the bathtub. But I need to change the doors, but this could be a cute room. And so are we putting all four boys in here? Oh my god, y'all. Am I going to have to delete every freaking outlet that's in this freaking house before I can freaking do anything? I love it. Like, it's super cute. It looks super realistic, but it's annoying if I can't do anything. All right. So... And we could really delete this closet. Because I'm not going to actually use the damn closet. Delete that door. I don't know what I'm going to put right here. But I can put something like that's accessible right there. Um, let's put... Let's see. It's probably a freaking outlet right here. That I have to go out of my way to delete. Um, and I can't even see in there. Okay. Boom. 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 Alright. We got that. Are there any more outlets in here? I see the light switch. Boom. Let's get rid of that one. And... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to click that. I did not mean to click out of build mode. Alright. So, so far... And, I mean, I really could put this one over here. Even though... That means this space right here can't really be used. But then, realistically... Because are we trying to fit all four boys in here? Or I guess we could have just used this room. It's already bigger. Um, I'm just trying to think what makes the most sense. I guess since we have four boys right now, like, and they're at such a young age, and they're all, like, you know, close in age, I do think it could probably make sense to um, have them all in the same room. I'm trying to make sure there's no more outlets, because those are killing my vibe. All right. So, yeah, I guess for now, like, since they're all close in age and they're all boys, like, we could technically have them... I'll share our freaking room. Because then eventually when we need to, we can get like bunk beds and stuff. Um, I guess we just got to figure out this layout right quick. Because can one go right here? Is it going to be accessible though? I mean, we can always scoot this over. I don't know if that's just doing the damn most. Um, gosh, we got a lot of kids. It'll be easier when we don't need cribs though. Like when we don't need cribs, it'll actually be a lot easier because it'll be more functional but let's do it like this for now um just be freaking cuz um uh, let's put their diaper pill in here i mean they don't really have much stuff why is this acting stupid okay um and then we can put their mats out here because it's not like they should just be in there by themselves like too frequently where are their little mats do y'all see them I feel like I just can't freaking see because I know for a fact I packed those. Like, I was not even playing about packing their little mats. But whatever. Um, I'll figure that out in a second. For now. Okay, too big. Let's put this in their room. I took that shower. I didn't know I didn't need the shower. So we can actually sell that. Okay, get some more moving in the toilet. Um, yes, we love that. Let's put her sheet back on her bed. We love that. And then... Um... Let's see. What do we got going? What do we got going? I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do about this. I think this is her desk. So yeah, let's put her desk in here. With her computer. And her chair. Why is it being like a piece of shit? Is this not her desk? Like, can't intersect other objects. It's a desk. You very much can intercept. I don't know if she needs that chair in her room again. In her room again. Uh, will it work if I try to use like an actual office chair? So is this not considered a desk? So how did I have it set up before? Because that makes no like flipping sense. Because this is literally her desk. Let me just... Oh, that's stupid. Okay. And then can I move the whole thing? I can put it right here, but I can't put it over there. That's cool. Whatever. Alright. Um, 
And then I know she like had some little stuff on her desk. Nothing major, but just like her little clutter. I don't know where this came from. Probably a date or something. Um, okay, this was in her bathroom. So yeah, she does not need this any longer. We can sell that, which is also great. Um, she got the double vanity, which is nice. But I'm about to say I can't put anything on the freaking counters. Um, and all her little stuffy stuff. I don't like the way this counter is made because I can barely put anything up there, and that pisses me off. I need all my girl's stuff to go up here. Okay, okay. Why is it being ridiculous? Place all of that. Um, I mean, we don't need all of it. I'm just like, what the heck? <laughs> we got her room. We can put her little neon light back up. Can't intersect other objects. What is the point in me freaking having, like, bro? That's annoying the crap out of me, y'all. What is the point in me having BB whatever, whatever on if the bullshit ain't gonna do nothing special? Can I put the bed there, or you gonna act fucking like a piece of shit? If you wanna act like a piece of shit, that's your fucking choice. I'm gonna just sell that. Um, we definitely need more lighting in here. It's dark as hell. In all of these rooms. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's happening in here. Um, I don't even know where this chair came from, so I'm gonna sell it. We got our pink couch. Let me move this chair out of the freaking way. Sell this outlet. And it's like, I get it, but why did they put all these outlets knowing people weren't going to be able to use the space functionally? For now, we're just going to work with what we go. We're just going to have this kind of cozy little area. With the rug, you know. Where should we put our plant? Let's just put it right here because I don't even want to think too hard right now. And then we got this heart. What was that? That was in her bathroom before. This bathroom is kind of small. I don't know if it's going to fit in there. She can put it in her room. There's even a point. Uh, we just sell that. Even though it's not worth anything. We don't need this mirror. I bought the trash can for the kitchen because I was pretty sure... They didn't have one. We don't need... Like, why do they have all this extra... Just extraness. It's like, I love what y'all did with the house, but... <laughs> Alright, let's paint this wall. Maybe, maybe the fuck not. Alright. And then... Can we go back to our inventory? Let's put our trash can right there. Oh, I gotta do the floor, too. I just had the closet. Meh. Alright, we got that. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Once I got this on a day, a hallway ficus. I don't know, we can put the kids' stuff right there. Let's put this plant somewhere cute. We need a TV real bad, y'all. Put our cute little. Okay, now all of a sudden you don't want to go on there. You were there before. I don't know what the problem with that is. Um, uh, what is this? Hair straightener. Oh, let's just put some art. Right click just to get it out there. And I think for now, I mean, we got our pictures. We do need to let like, do our baby daddy wall, so let's just do it. Victor, the second. So where is. Okay. Boom. Aziz was first, and then Victor. And then. Let's actually put our calendar right here in the kitchen. Or, of course, we flip and can't do shit because there's a fucking outlet. So let's put our calendar. Oh, that's not why. Okay, great. Like, I want to put my calendar right here. Like, what the hell? I mean, I could put it over her. Well, no, her desk is by the window. I say I could put it in her room, but I thought it would be cuter right there. Um, do I need to put any of this other stuff out like, right away? We got our toothpaste and stuff, but, like, I can barely put anything on her bathroom counter. Which is annoying. Well, it's like all in disarray. It's not even that I can barely put anything. It's just like all freaking over the place. Like, all this counter space for what? I guess that's it for right now, y'all. Like, that's the majority of this stuff. Um, this little plant. 
right there, which is, okay, I didn't want to do that, which is OD cute. Um, I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Oh, let's put these, um, let's line the walls with these freaking handprints and stuff. Boom. I'm sure she has more in her inventory of the, uh, the more recent children. And for now, I think we're good. Um, we got four cribs, so that's good for the boys. I guess I didn't bring their play mats. Did I accidentally sell them? Because I was almost sure that was like the first thing I grabbed. So actually, before we get out of here, we actually have some freaking money. So let's see, where are these play mats at? Because they need somewhere to kind of kick it. I got some custom ones. What is this? Oh, a little toy rower. That's cute. Um... Alright, where are these shits at? Let's see. So what do we got? We got four infants. Where are the little... Playmats? I saw a custom one, but I was just gonna kinda get the base game one. I mean, it doesn't really matter. One... Do I wanna change the color? Let's get rid of that. Are they all gonna be doing that at the same time? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know, y'all. I'm just doing shit at this point. I guess, I mean, I don't want to only have two of them. And then the other kids is left out. But it's like, with these playmats, I'm like, I wish there was like one gigantic one. Put one over here or like under this counter because for now when she eats she can just eat like by the couch so yeah let's just put the other two over here just for just to get it over with let's see so boom um the oldest two are old enough to sit in like a high chair so we can always have them like kicking up dust in a high chair like so it's just i'm just doing what i gotta do right now i will kind of iron this out a little bit later um we probably should get a changing table i don't know if it's gonna fit in that room though not really will it fit in this little hallway area kind of but is it like too too big What is that? Okay, we got a light switch. But I'm trying to see, is there... Okay, there's that. But the light switch might be messing with it, too. I hate to have to get rid of all this stuff that looks super realistic, but it'll just be blocking what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's see if the changing table will fit now. No, still a no. Um, I mean, I guess for now we could put it in here, but is that, like, out of the freaking way? And then there's this room over here. I mean, we could put it in, but, like, it just seems so extra to have to put it all the way over here. Um, is there anything that supports infants to play with? I really don't know. Like, I have no clue. And, I mean, I know Forrest and Kai will age up, like, really soon. Um, so there'll be toddlers at that point, and we won't really have to worry about it as far as they're concerned. But if there was something for the infants, that would be really cool. Okay. I think for, like, right this very second, we're good. Our baby daddy's helped us move in. Um, yay! Yay, 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 okay. Let's get these kids settled down. Like, for real. So let's put Forrest here. Put Kai down here. And then just for a second, I'm going to control Aziz. And get him to put those kids down. Control Sim. Um, put down Elias and put down Remy. All right, cool. So let's do that. And then oh, I can't believe Daryl's here. Yes, welcome to the new crib, baby. These kids crying already. Just since we just moved in, I'm gonna kind of cheat everybody's needs. Why is she putting that right there? You get on my damn nerves, Chloe. Put Forrest down here, girl. What are you doing? Is it because it's in the wall? Do I need to fix it? I might need to freaking fix it, y'all. Which is really annoying.
Let's get Aziz to do it, dude. Let's put put down Kai. Oh, yeah, they chopping it up. Look at my baby daddy's getting along. Love to see that. I love to see that. Okay, she feeding the baby, but she still got forest on her damn back. I'm like, ma'am. And then Aziz. Yeah, play with your damn kids. Activities. Or just play with her. What the hell? Yo, Aziz. Don't. F Yo, Aziz just flirted with Daryl. Or did like the flirty introduction or whatever the hell that was. That was fucking weird. Don't flirt with my baby daddy. Like, I would really prefer you not. F what? Has fizzled away? Oh no. Chloe just saw. Oh my gosh, y'all. Put Remy down. Put Remy down. Put Remy down. Chloe just saw. Freaking. Um, Aziz Okay Daryl's turning it down Chloe just saw Aziz and Daryl flirt And now she's like saying she's like Not romantic with Daryl anymore And I freaking hate that I'm about to send your ass home crazy How you flirting with my my damn baby daddy Like you're, you, you're at my house Flirting with my baby daddy Like that makes no sense Whatsoever That's crazy Ten to your stepkids. <laughs> Even though well, we ain't married, but shit. Ten to them. Oh my gosh, we have a house. We have a whole house. Like I am excited. It's spacious. I mean, it ain't spacious enough for any babies, but it's spacious. We gonna have to damn get a mansion after this. It's our starter home. But I'm loving this for Chloe so bad. Like I'm really loving this so bad. What do you gotta do? You gotta use the bathroom. Alright. Help try first baby food for us. Um, let's do papaya. What you about to say, Daryl? Because you just, I literally just saw you flirting with my damn baby daddy. And that's weird as hell. I ain't never heard telling a shit like that. My baby daddy flirting with my other baby daddy. Like, where did I go wrong? Aziz kind of just pissed me off. Like, I'm not going to be too mad at him because he do be holding it down with the kids. But that just made me mad a little bit. Like, what the hell? Let's watch Forrest try his first food, y'all. Go for it. No, no, no. Oh, did he like it? I think he liked it, y'all. Oh, no, Forrest disliked it. Forrest, don't act damn stupid. Ain't nobody tell you to damn act crazy as hell. He like, girl, I don't like that. You just tried to give me that. You need to eat it. Okay. And you just gonna get the thing as 50 as you possibly damn could. That's just great for us. That's just freaking great. Um, feed. How do I continue to do it? Help with knees. Let me just click help with knees. Because what's he crying for? Now he dirty. Need a bath. Daryl. Just in here damn dancing. Where is the bathtub at y'all? Let's. This ain't considered a bathtub? Oh yeah it is. Yeah it is. Let's give Forrest a bubble bath. We're going to have to give all the kids a bath. Because if we're going to be honest with ourselves. None of them have ever really had a bath for real. And he angry. What the hell is you angry for, boy? Betrayed for disliked food, boy. You'll be alright. Why are you putting him down? Girl, do you damn listen? Oh, she hungry. I just told you to get that man a bath. Literally. And Daryl just in here dancing, not being helpful. It's all. Not it's all, child. Eat cold cuts. You think we can, we can probably afford a TV, y'all? Why am I tripping? Let's buy a TV right quick. Okay, now my girl has a TV. Like, stuff is really coming together. And over time, like, as I think of stuff, we'll continue to buy stuff. Um, who's crying? Who is that? Is that them? Remy or Elias crying? 
Now, what's wrong with you? Let me ask that. Are you hungry? Okay, okay, okay. That's valid. That's valid. So, let's feed that sweet baby. I can't believe we literally have a whole house, y'all. I'm so excited. All right. And then, is he lying? He's hungry. Oh, he sitting there using a bed. Oh, that's Remy. I'm feeding a lie. This is Remy. Okay. Oh, my sweet boys. Who's calling me? Hey, I heard you and Remy Brooks are friends now. You're, yeah, that's my son. Stupid. Don't call my phone about no weird shit like that, bro. Don't damn do it. Try to go night night. Yeah, he is tired. I'm gonna let him sleep. You can't stop no baby from sleeping, honey. You need to just let him do it. That's rule number uno. She's sitting here with her new baby daddy that was just flirting with her previous baby daddy. Ooh. He's so cute, though. I can't wait for her to have these babies. I, oh, my gosh. I hope they're girls. I really, truly hope they are girls. Or that it's at least a girl. I mean, she keep having twins, so I'm hoping she has more twins. And if they are, I'm hoping they're both girls. Like, for real. Aww. Okay, put Elias back down. And then, I mean, do you want to talk to Daryl or not? I mean, I'm, like, not mad that the romantic side of that situation is ending anyway. Because she's going to have to move on anyway. And, like, she was, like, low-key falling for my guy. Um, Because, I mean, like, that last episode had us wanting to be like, ooh, I want this to be her man for life. But, like, we obviously know that that can't happen. Uh, ask to go get tested. Yes, let's ask him to go get tested because, sir, you was just flirting with my baby daddy. And now I don't know what the fuck you be doing. I got to go with him. No, Chloe, please. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. I didn't know she was going to have to freaking go with them. Girl. Should we hire a nanny? We got money now. We got money now. Let's hire a nanny. And hopefully we don't get no fucking weirdo. I should really get going now. You better be getting fucking tested, bitch. The way you was flirting with my whole baby daddy, I don't know what the hell you be doing. You be trying. You got me pregnant. I guess it's good she going to get damn tested. Oh, this the damn nanny. Where the hell she just go? Hi there, my name is Nanny Wayne. Nice to meet you. I can sensibly sufficient in every way. I can play cook and mentor. Good. So 10 to the kids. Because we got a couple dollars now. We ain't afraid to spend them. We about to have some more kids too. So that check from the baby daddy about to be Liddy. Yes, I'm excited, y'all. I am really happy for Chloe. Like, I'm like cheesing right now. Like, it's crazy. Like, this is a big moment for her. Like, this is a new crib. Like, what? Oh, oh, I gotta change these doors though Cause that's weird How all the doors are doorways instead of doors Like no privacy whatsoever In this place but like Yeah I gotta change that I gotta change that. Girl you ain't done with this testing And you had to pay $200 He better not have shit She does not have any WTDs Alright good I mean I didn't think she would but You know You can't be too sure Let's do some tummy time. Let's play with Remy. Oh, she gotta go to the bathroom. Well, girl, I'm gonna help you. Because you need to tend to these kids. You barely been able to spend time with them because you've been so busy. Wait, let's load the tongue now. I'm still going so fast. Okay. Forrest over there sleep. What is she doing? Oh, God. She Oh, she put him in the crib. Sweetness. He's tired. Thank you, Nanny. Might let her stay for a few minutes. I ain't gonna lie. Help me out a bit. And she cook, she gonna cook something. If she cooks something, we gonna love her forever. Because what the heck? Y'all, did Victor meet his kids? I think he came over that one time and he was still being a bitch, so we didn't even introduce him, right? I think that's what happened. And I have my girl standing in the counter. I mean, we could do tummy time with him too, right quick. I know you want to watch TV, girl, but you need to tend to your kids while you have the time. Because you're about to have two new babies. And you're not going to be able to tend to them the way you need to. She wants to get into a relationship and become flirty. I'm going to re-roll this because we know good and well she cannot get into a relationship right now. Really, bye, yoga mat. There's no point in doing that either, sis, because you stay pregnant. I did want to find out, y'all. Can she give massages while pregnant? Because remember, I wanted her to kind of start up her career and with the massage therapy and everything. And now that she has a garage, that would be perfect because people don't have to even come all the way into her house. Like, she can set it, the little spa area up in there and it could be so cute. But I don't know if she can give massages while she's pregnant. Like, tend the massage table. I guess I would have to buy one and see. I don't know. 
let's get her like after she's done this is remy right after she's done with remy uh, well let's see if we can what we can post on social money because she did just buy a whole freaking house no new posts y'all like seeing someone with lunch in their teeth how embarrassing this girl is mean like i don't like her chloe brings the fun there's no one better to hang out with oh thank you girly chloe you don't have to laugh at my jokes i can laugh for both of us well bitch don't talk to me then what are you talking about um so so whatever whatever from victor Rolls eyes because you ain't checked on the damn kids. Not a now one time. Orlando, Chloe, fun fact, cow plants always get left out, which is why they suffer from severe FUMU. I guess I'll laugh at that, even though you was weird. All right. Oh, he can lift his head. Now, who is this, Remy? Yes, Remy can lift his head. Go, Rim I love that for you. Um. Oh, what I was going to say is she can, like, post on her social media and stuff. Like, ooh, just move, new crib, who this? Like, you're not getting the Addy unless I fuck with you. Uh, update social media status per show off girly show off now let's take a selfie in the new crib matter of fact let's take a selfie you need to show them like yes period girly I wish you could zoom out a little bit so you could see more of the house. I don't want the nanny in the picture, though. Like, and you can see out the window. Like, yes, I live in Tomarang now. Like, hate on that. Oh, cutie. Yes, we got to post these pics. I am here for my girls. Look, come up. She's like, I'm going to do crap. Who did? Yes, Clo Clo. Ooh, yes, kissy face. Y'all see the new floor in the background because y'all won't see in that floor in my last crib. That's how you know I got a new crib. Yes, I want you to be able to see, like, the view in the background and stuff. Yes, I'm here for this. I am so freaking here for this, club. All right. Let's. Oh, Eli's got the cool milestone. Okay. You need to do some tummy time with him, too, while Rim Rim is asleep. Let's play with him. And then in the meantime, let's post some of these photos. Um, ooh, she can sell on Only Sims for $5 and notoriety. Love that for her. And then we'll do something else with the other ones in a minute. Oh, y'all, I'm stupid. The playmats were right here. Well, let's just sell them. Let's just sell them. We'll buy new ones later if we need to. And then she got, what are these, her birth certificates, probably? We'll deal with that later. Um... Oh, I should have took a picture of Daryl. I mean, with Daryl when he was here. I forgot y'all for our baby daddy wall. I totally forgot. I need to make these bigger to be real. But we'll do that another time. Oh, Elias can read. Yeah, we gotta keep the nanny on deck. I'm not gonna lie. I love that. For us. Like, yes, yeah, ten to my kids. Because I'm a single mom. Single by damn choice. I know that damn much. After y'all get done with that, go ahead and do tummy time together. We need to invite Daryl back over to take a baby daddy picture. And I think we already asked him to accompany us to childbirth whenever it happens. I'm trying to figure that out, y'all, because we can do another home birth. Um, we can either buy another birthing pool or... Um... We can like i think we can have a birth in the bed so i guess i'm like she just moved in it doesn't seem like she would want to go anywhere and it would seem like she's probably pretty tired um so i guess whenever she goes into labor we probably will have them here let's invite him back over when we get done daiki's still calling i've been thinking about getting to know zach ryan more better as a friend i think you should go for it because i don't give a damn you ain't my landlord no more you really don't have to call me sir and you've been doing all this calling me and all of the stuff. And you still made me pay the little fee to like break my leaves. But you trying to be the whole me. Like make that make sense for me. And Miss Nanny. What is you doing in here before it's in there crying? Please go tend to forest. Thank you. So I hired you. So I'm paying you for You can leave when they go to bed. I love this for Chloe. Yes. Lift your big old noggin Eli's. I love that for you. What does she make? She makes BLT. I love this nanny. I'm going to tip her. 
I really am. And let's sell some more of these pictures. I'm trying to get our following up. Because that way she'll just make more money off of everything she freaking does. I need to put these other handprints on the wall. In the boys' room. I just want to always keep that stuff. Let's see. Remy. Elias. Oh, I love it. I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay. When she's done, yeah, take a picture with Daryl. He can kick it if he wants to, I guess. This house is so cute, y'all. I'm not going to freaking even try to cap to y'all about how cute this house is. Like, I'm loving it here. And for like 40-some bands? Like, what? All right, Daryl will be right over. What stinks? Oh, damn, the baby stinks. First blowout. Oh, great. So happy about that. I really, truly am. All right, which one is that? Elias? Can we... I gotta be holding the damn baby. Get his damn baby a damn bath. Baby care. Uh, give bubble bath. What's she doing? Dancing? She ready to drop this child. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, nanny. The nanny is fire, y'all. We need to keep her the heck around. I need to get a live-in nanny. Like, when she, when her career really takes off, we might have to get a live-in nanny. Where is she going? I told you to give his ass a bath. You crazy damn girl. Are none of the bathtubs, like, in the right, like, um, give bath? Are none of the freaking tubs, like, in a space where I can do it? What's up, Daryl? I need to take a picture with you, my boy. My boy. So can she give him a bath? I hope the bathtubs are like in a space where she can freaking even do it. It's not working. I don't have to move. Um, what is happening? What you talking about, Daryl? Cause you pissed me off earlier playing around with my damn baby daddy. Like that got me thinking, second guessing some shit about you. Let's take a photo with him right quick and just get over it. I gotta play with one of these bathtubs. Like if she not able to, uh, the way the bathrooms are set up, it might be too damn small. Let's take a good picture with him because we really like him. Okay, love this. We gotta remember, like, we liked this baby daddy. He wasn't a fucking weirdo. Okay, that pose is a little weird. These are the only two romantic poses. Okay, y'all are freaking weird. Alright. Happy. Can we do happy? I can't get both of y'all big ass heads in that picture. Alright, this is good. This is good. Anyway. Alright, love that for y'all. Um, so are all the bathtubs kind of like blocked? This one is just a shower. Damn, the way you got these bathrooms set up, I can't even get a child of damn bath. She gotta use the bathroom. Uh, let me try something over here because what I'm thinking is... This bathroom can be extended, you know? And then that way the toilet won't be blocking the bathtub. They don't play with me and be fucking annoying. Now, is that enough space, though? It's only one way to find out. Because I really want her to be able to bathe the kids. That was a whole other thing I was super excited about. Because she wasn't able to bathe them in the last crib. Baby care, give back. Don't touch that damn baby. Okay, thank you, thank you. Is hopefully that's enough space for her to take him in there and give him a damn bath. Please be enough space. Yo, bro, she pisses me off the way she be going damn back and forth. Like, if I tell you to do something with one child, please do it, ma'am. That's all I'm asking. Give this damn baby a damn bath. This may come out as corny, but you're making me horny. Uh, it was indeed corny, but I'm not horny. 
Did you really think it's appropriate to say that? I mean, I'm not horny right this second, sir. And see, she still can't give him a fucking bath. This is pissing me off. Why are the bathroom set up to where you can't even use the fucking bathtub? Like, what do I need to fucking do? Put this shit right beside the damn sink with his weird and move this? Alright, now let me try one more time, you guys. Because I just want to give the baby a bath. That's all a real nigga really want to damn do. Ooh. Alright, let's try one more again, y'all. Now, because I'm damn sick of it. Alright, baby care. Give a freaking bath to your freaking child that you gave birth to. That needs to be fucking cleaned. Bro, she pisses me off with everything she can in between of what I'm saying. Give this damn baby a damn bath. Please. Really? I fucking hate this house, y'all. What is the fucking point of having a house with three bathrooms if the tub don't damn work? After I've extended the shit. Like, what's the problem? What's stopping you from giving the baby a damn bath in this tub right here? What's stopping you? I'm gonna put this in the inventory for now. And I'm gonna try to buy, like, just a regular tub. Max's shit and all, like... Oh, bitch, cook on the tub. Nothing even fancy, just a damn tub, y'all. Y'all see what I'm doing here. And you watch it be a problem. Oh, it's not. Alright, good. Which one was it that I need to give a bath to? Remy or Elias? I think Elias. Tend to this damn child. I feel like you can release her. She ain't gotta be here all damn evening. We're going to give her a tip. And then we're going to dismiss her when we get done. There you go. Give the baby a damn bath. I had me mad a little bit, y'all. <laughs> Golly. Aww, look at the wires. Hey, baby. Baby. Oh, cutie. He is cute. Little blazing baby. No, Chloe. Chloe's a good mommy. Oh, he's cute. Is it giving you baby fever? Or is it giving you baby fever? Because it's giving me baby fever. So if you're not getting baby fever, something damn wrong with you. Something is obviously wrong with you if you don't want a baby right now. Cause me. Cause me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but for you, yeah. For you guys, you guys pop them babies out. Send me pictures. No, oh, this is like the cutest shit ever, though. She's got to pee. Hurry up, girl. Finish this damn bag. You got to pee. You just missed the main all of that. You wasting money at this damn point. My bad, y'all. The game literally just started, like, doing whatever the hell it wanted to do. So I, had like, had to save and come back in. But really, I'm about to get the kid. Well, half of them damn sleep. On the freaking floor, which is super freaking psychotic. All of them are asleep now. Um, so I guess in the meantime, let's get Chloe to paint. We definitely want to keep up, you know, her skills and everything else. Um, in the meantime, and we really just waiting for these dang kids to drop. Um, uh, who is crying? I thought y'all was all asleep. Y'all be wanting to wake up and stuff. Who is this? This is Remy. I try, let's see. Let's put Remy to bed. We can finish the painting after we do that. Let's put Remy to bed. Time to go night night, buddy. Um, Alright. And then now Forrest is just up for no reason. What you need for for? Yeah, that's, that's cute. I don't know if I said that already in another video, but it's like, yes, we should call him Forest for short. Hold on, I wonder what happens if we... Um, let's give him a bubble bath so he can have that milestone. And then... And do we have laundry already in here that we need to transfer? Unload and move laundry to dryer.
All right, we need to get a hamper and then do laundry. Oh, well, we need to search pockets. Even though we know these are kids' clothes, you just never know. Well, let's be freaking for real. Let's give him a bath. We got to get more of these mouse on. Slot. We got to get a hamper for real, though. This is about to get sickening. Um, if we don't get a hamper like ASAP, let's do that. Matter of fact. All right, I got a couple of hampers, so we should be good. I still don't understand why the freaking diapers just automatically go on the floor. That's really freaking annoying. But look at Forrest getting his little bathy bath. All right, now put Forrest to damn bed now. And then let's get... Oh, we got to do that damn laundry. Oh, she can do the laundry while she's holding him? Oh, she's going to put him right there. That's fine. Not the whole shit moved. These must be cu custom content. I got to get some damn... Some more. A guppy? Why the hell one of your kids had a fish in their pocket? Because that's freaking weird. Take to hamper. Can we please take all these? And now the toilet is... What the hell did you just... Okay, we're going to replace it. I ain't going to lie. You need to clean up this house, girl. This house is a mess. And after you get done with that, you need to mop this. And you need to get whatever the hell this is and throw it away, nasty. What? Y'all. We just got $70,000 in child support. $70,000 freaking dollars. I don't even know what I want her to buy. Like, we got money. Yeah, tend to your damn kids. We got money out the wazoo. 70 k I feel like it's only so much for her to buy because the kids are so freaking young. You know what I mean? Like, what does she need right now? But, like, eventually... We can put some stuff out here. I don't even know what else I want her to have. Like what? 70k? What? <laughs> what are you talking about right now? I'm lit. And then we don't we ain't even gave birth to the other two kids yet. I keep saying the other two because we keep having twins. We ain't even gave birth to our newest, like what we're pregnant with now. Who the hell got a new job? Because who can afford 70k in child support? Like what? I'm obsessed. Are we getting paid for the babies that we didn't have yet? Like, I doubt it. We just got 70. Like, what does she need to buy? Like, what? I'm literally obsessed. Like, I don't even know what to buy, though. Like, dead ass, y'all. Is there something we should buy right quick with 70K? Because 70K is love. Back pain. Gross prank. Oh, somebody pranked the toilet. Did Daryl do that? He's fucking lame. Um, I'm ready for her to give birth. I'm not going to freaking sit here and lie to y'all at all about it. I'm ready for her to go ahead and give birth. Really, Remy? Remy, where you at, boy? Didn't I just give you a damn bath? Or something? Damn, Remy? These kids are just tested. Who is calling her at 6.30 in the morning? Don't call me about Daryl because he was flirting with my baby daddy and I'm, I'm scarred. Like, traumatized. Y'all, we just got 70k in child support. Like, I'm actually ecstatic right now. I want her to buy things. I don't even know what she should damn buy. What should she buy, y'all? She got a TV. I mean, we could buy all new furniture, but I mean, she don't really need that. The kids don't really need nothing yet until they age up to, to toddlers. Is there, what does she need, y'all? She got a computer, a desk. I mean, she could buy maybe like some workout equipment. <gasps> Gone into labor. Gone into labor. Gone into mother freaking labor. All right, what are we going to do? Home birth or what? Should we do a home birth, y'all? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh, I guess we might as well keep her in the crib because she got all these kids. She just sent the nanny home. Let's do, um, I think there's like birth pillow. We already did the birth pool. So why don't we try the birth pillow? I've never done that before. So what we're going to do is try it. Oh, we can get pink ones. Should we, we should, wait, is that what these are? Do I already have birth clothes and I didn't know? Oh, wow. 
I already have bird pillows. We lit. Okay. Um, so with that being said, let's get the ball. We need the ball. And then we gotta get Daryl over here. Um Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay. Well, let's have these babies. Let's see. We need the ball. So we can like do the exercise ball and stuff. We need to call our midwife. We need to do all of that. I guess we can wait a little bit until we call our midwife because we know we're not dilated yet. We just went into labor. And they just be walking around the house taking up space sometimes. Like not really being helpful whatsoever. Which one is it, y'all? Is it the it's the yoga ball, right? Where should we put it? Like out here in the living room somewhere? Yeah. Damn. For two seconds I was excited and then I'm like, no. <laughs> Literally better have even more freaking babies. Let's get the pink one because it just that's just the vibes. And we just gonna place it right in the middle of the damn flow to be honest. Alright, 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 alright. I'ma actually let her finish her video. And then we will invite Daryl over. And we'll do like some different exercises and stuff. I think we can do breathing exercises. Have baby. I thought we could do breathing exercises. Or do we have to already be laying down or something? More choice. Oh, do okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we'll do that. But I'm gonna let her finish her video. Cause if anything, we can just pretend her video is about like, you know, going into labor. Da -da 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 -da, you know. Oh my gosh, Chloe, you are doing the dang thing. Yeah, we got four kids. Hopefully, we about to have six and not just five. Hopefully, it's a dang on girl. Like if it's not a girl, I might give up on the 100 baby challenge. I'm not gonna sit here and play with y'all. All right, here you go, girl. Now I'm just excited. Let's let's get it really. So because she got a couple dollars, everything got a freaking mess up. We gonna replace it though. Okay, he's on the way. He is on the way. Hurry up and get here. Hurry up and get here so we can do some stuff. Is he here? Oh, why is he coming through the damn back though? I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that. Let's ask him for a back massage. Should I hire the nanny? I should probably hire a nanny, shouldn't I, y'all? Um, let's see. How do we do it? Let's see. Hire a service. Um, nanny? Look, he's like, oh my gosh, she's in labor, she's in labor, she's in labor. Yes, Daryl, hold it down. Let's see how you act compared to Aziz, sir. We're gonna find out real quick how you act. So spirited. In terms of sim preference, you would say that Chloe likes spirited sims? Sure, why not? Look, now we can see somebody out there on the beach. What the world? Give me a massage, baby daddy, because I need one. The nanny is on the way. I got a dang old pee. Who's out here? Oh, there's people out here at the beach, y'all. That's cute. This is Venetia. Hey, girl. And they don't even know somebody in here about to just give birth. Where the nanny at? She need to come on. Hello, how are you doing today? It's delightful to see you again. Yes, indeed. Get to it because the kids is up. They crying. I'm about to give birth. Ew, did her water just break? Okay, Chloe, you know what? I don't know why I said ew. I apologize. I need the nanny to do her due diligence and take care of these damn kids. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to help you out. You focus on the kids. Chloe needs to go pee. Somebody need to mop up this damn mess, Daryl. Matter of fact, let's control him because he needs to be helpful. Actions control him because you're not going to sit here and dance the whole time. You go help out, and you need to tend to your stepchildren. I ain't gonna lie. Mop that up. What else does she need? Oh, he's supposed to be at work. Oh well. Did she use the bathroom? No, because she's so worried about them. Alright, I'm going to help her out. Because, like, seriously, you're pissing me off, girl. Nanny, why are you just standing there? Do you need instructions on your job? Can I ask her to do stuff? Like, what the hell? Oh, now she's going to go use the damn bathroom. Leave them kids alone and let her handle that. You need to be working this baby down. And then you can do some breathing exercises. And let's just... Where the hell for is going? Chloe is going into labor. Prepare for her home birth by purchasing a birth pool or birth pillows. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright. Girl, leave these... 
I'm just trying to help you out here, Clove. She gotta leave these kids alone and let the nanny handle it, sweetie. Let her let her cook. Exercise on this damn bird ball. That's what I need you to do. Elias is very flippin' hungry. Of course Elias is very fucking hungry when I'm having birth, giving birth. Phil needs household. Because y'all, I don't want the kids to get taken away just because I'm giving birth. Like, they selfish, bruh. Y'all hungry at the wrong damn time. I'll tell you that much. Alright, we're going to do a little bit. And then we're going to call her just so we can see. Because we need to, we don't want any complications with the pregnancy. So let's um, call our midwife in a little bit. I guess we'll call them and get the exercising. Daryl, you could do something with these damn kids. You just barely helpful. Oh, that baby stinks. She about to tend to that baby. You need to do something, though. Go play with my son. If you gonna damn be here. Why is she in the orange? Oh, just from being pregnant and stuff. Contraction pain. You got this, girl. You are the real OG of motherhood, baby girl. I need to change her outfit, because... In what world would she be about to give birth in this outfit? Dresser. Change outfit. Put her in her little... Fitty McFit fit. Alright, bring your ass over here, midwife. Come on over to the house. Leave them kids alone and let them kids in to your kids. You go in here and you do some breathing exercises until your midwife show up. Go do some breathing exercises, girl. Oh, clothes, clothes. Oh, she had to put that on. They need to fix that. She shouldn't have to put workout clothes on just to do breathing exercises. She didn't have to change clothes to get on the exercise ball. Oh, clo clo. I wish she could do these with Daryl. Yes, you relax. Take your time. Ease yourself through these contractions. You got this, girly. You got this, girly. Where the damn midwife at? I'm trying to see how contracted I am. Is she down here? Where's she at, y'all? Damn, she ain't here yet. Girl, where is ya? Where is she at? Oh wait, is this her out here in the damn street? It's the same damn girl. Y'all ain't got no more. She be acting crazy on social media. I don't even want her to be my midwife. Ask her to check your dilations. We ain't got no damn choice. She's standing outside like she's scared to come inside because she knows she be on social media talking shit. <laughs> crazy. Crazy damn girl. Come in here and check my dilation, girl. I don't want no job. I'm in labor. Would like to come over to hang out. Now is not a good time, sir. At all. Not even close to a good dang on time. Doctor about to check my dilation. You want to damn hang out. Make that make sense. Make it make sense for a real one. Alright, check my dilation, doc. Don't damn play about it now. Daryl. Okay, talk to me nice, talk to me nice, talk to me nice. Where we at, where we at, where we at? Five centimeters. All right, Chloe. What you mean you should really get... Y'all. Daryl ain't it. Daryl is not it, y'all. I hate to let y'all know that. Go for a walk, girl. You gonna do this all by your damn self. Fuck Daryl. How he gonna say I should get going? Bring your black ass over here. I'm in labor. Oh, Lord, the baby done tinkled on the nanny. Bring yourself here. Your baby mama is in labor. The least you could do is cook some food or just tend to her other kids. That's the bare minimum you could do. Serve some damn lunch, crazy. You know how to make mac and cheese, don't you? She walking around trying to damn move the baby down. Baby damn dropped. And you talking about I should get going. He wants to get hurt so bad. Like, I, why don't you have Aziz energy? Did he just leave again? 
Chloe might be experiencing stalled labor. Keep monitoring the situation. It doesn't improve. She might need an emergency C-section. Why every time it's almost something going wrong? Like she don't be popping babies out left and damn right. Check on the baby girl. Because y'all ain't about to play with me. What the hell? Chloe, stop walking. Did Daryl leave? He's a piece of shit. Maybe he went to work. We gonna assume he went to damn work. Because this is pissing me off. Talk to me nice, Doc. Tell me good news. I'm not trying to go have no C-section. I'm not trying to have a C-section. The baby's heart rate is a bit slower. It is important not to panic. Girl, bye. Let me go exercise on this ball. You need to get this baby out of me. Maybe I do need a damn C-section. My baby daddy left. Oh, I thought Daryl was different. Oh, man. Okay. Like, for all this, I could, I'm about to call Aziz. I don't think we never gonna get rid of Aziz, y'all. I'm about to really invite Aziz over after I'm done working out. Like, seriously. And then she gotta go to the bathroom. The nanny just damn standing there, girl. Do something. Oh, I'm glad Elias loves wake up time instead of being a little grumpy, but. I'm really about to invite Aziz over because I'm just, she's so distraught that Daryl left because what type of man are you worse than Victor? Well, that's not true. Nobody's worse than Victor so far. I don't know if you can be worse than damn Victor. Did we put our picture? Okay, yeah, invite Aziz over. And then, can we get our dilation checked again? Girl, where is you damn going? Who the midwife? Where's she at? Oh, she in here. Girl, sit your ass down somewhere. Don't talk to my nanny. And check my dilation. Where the heck is Kai scooting to, y'all? They're probably about to make a mess in the damn cabinets. We know how Kai do. He will make a mess right quick. In the damn cabinets. Little scoot himself. I need to check my dilation again, girl. I'm ready to get this thing about me. Shaba. Did Aziz oh, show up? Insane. Hey Aziz, can you hold shit down for a minute? Help the nanny a little bit. Please, I beg you. <laughs> See, Aziz is like, oh my gosh, you're lady, you're lady, you're lady. I got you, I got you. Meanwhile, Daryl left. Who's having a milestone? He's taking a picture of him. We'll play with him now. Nine centimeters fudge. All right, let's go. Let's just go for another quick walk. Let's just go for another quick walk. By the time we get done with that, we should be ready to pop this baby out, y'all. Let's do it. Oh, she checking on the baby. All right. Okay, fitness level four from one on one. We love that for Chloe. Look at her garage. She got 94 bands. Like, what should she buy, y'all? Like, seriously. We got money now. Talk to us nice. Dang, she pregnant. Oh, we can finally buy a drone. Because she can live stream on social, uh, what's it called? On, um, Only Sims. And she can just make more content for, like, her channel. And for her subscribers. Like, mom content and everything else. Yes, we love that for her. So, yeah, I will be buying a drone ASAP. I wish she had one right now, but, I mean, she's not going to stop in the middle of her pregnancy to buy a drone. I guess she could send Aziz to, like, the store or some shit, which would be hilarious. All right, y'all think we should be dilated? I feel like we should be dilated. Wait, no. Damn it. Girl, stop damn moving. All right, let's check for dilation, y'all, because I feel like we should be good. I feel like we should be good to pop these damn kids out. Or this kid. Hopefully it's two kids. Check my dilation and don't damn play with me, girl. Tell me some good news, please. What's her damn name? Tell me some good news, midwife. Please, I beg of you. So tell me some good news. We need good news right now. Talk to me nice, talk to me nice. I can see the baby says you're fully dilated. If you would like to do water birth now, it would be a good time to get a birth pool. 
I was gonna just give birth on the damn bed. Wait, what? Hey, close up. Aziz is the realest nigga I ever met in my life. Right, like, girl, go give birth. Have damn baby. Why are you telling Aziz? She's like, please, I don't want to do this alone. Aziz, I will love you for the rest of your fucking life. All right, let's do this, y'all. You got this, Chloe girl. You got this, Chloe. Where the damn meal wife at? <laughs> Aziz is the realest nigga we ever met, y'all. You, Aziz, I love you. Like, I love Aziz. I don't know how Chloe feel. I love Aziz. He is the realest nigga we ever met in our life. It's okay, Chloe. It's okay, Chloe. It's like, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, y'all. Finally, 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 finally. Okay, I still have all the names that um were previously suggested throughout other videos and stuff on a wheel. So, let's spin that thing. Y'all, we are having a girl. I'm so excited. Let's do it. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm not even looking. Y'all gonna know before me because I'm not even freaking looking. Anaya! I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. Period. Anaya is such a cute name. Like, I actually love that in real freaking life. All right, bet. Oh, we had a girl. Fine. Another. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay, let's spin the wheel again. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, y'all two freaking girls, finally. Yes, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yes. I just love that name too, y'all. I freaking love these names. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed already. I am obsessed. Okay, oh, I can't spell. Hold on. Willow. Yes, Willow and Anaya. Can we get one more? Like, can we have triplets so we can run it up? I guess it's just them two. You go, Chloe. You are a superwoman. The doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Oh. You got it. You freaking got And look, Aziz just kissed her. Aziz is, yo. At the end of this, if we decide to get married, it might have to be to Aziz cheating or not. And look, he about to do some um, skin to skin. I freaking love everything about Aziz, y'all. I could never cap about that. Aziz is the realest nigga we know. And he ain't even a nigga. Y'all, I freaking love him. Oh, I freaking love Aziz. Oh my gosh. What do we got? What we got? Uh, Willow and then Anaya over here. Chloe, put some damn clothes on, child. Luckily, you can't see nothing because I got the streamer mind, so it's not really recognizing that she's preg. I mean, not pregnant, naked, but still. Chloe, put some damn clothes on, girl. Y'all, I'm freaking obsessed. Chloe just had. Why is she not putting her? Okay, you know what? Go take a shower. I don't know why she's not putting her damn pants on. I'll take a shower. Um, I am like way more. Yeah, why do none of the freaking showers in this stupid ass house work? Oh, can she not? Oh, I'm stupid, y'all. She can't get out of the room because the babies are in the way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Can you take a shower now, please, sis? So you can put some pants on. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I was saying, we're gonna end the episode right here. Chloe just had two girls, Anaya and Willow. Oh my gosh, we got six freaking babies out of 100. If you're going to hate on it, keep that shit to yourself, okay? Because we got six babies. I'm loving it. I'm excited. Thank you for freaking watching. Um, Yeah. I'm going to let her get some rest and everything. And um, What the hell? Ghost that nigga. We're not doing that. What the fuck you think this is? Anyway, let me pause it, y'all. Um... Yes, I'm going to let her get some rest and just kind of settle into the crib. And we will see you guys next time.